love to. Say you'd have to vouch for her. Oh, she's one of us. <laughs> Sorry. Oranges, got the lemons. Surprisingly, it was May the 15th, 2000. What we did was to open the visitor centre while we were in the middle of construction. To see whether people would like to come and see the big build taking place. Well, we didn't know people would come. But to our surprise, we had not hundreds, but thousands. And in the course of six months, we had over half a million people come to enjoy the art of construction.
some blokes had a dream, and we're building that dream. This is an extraordinary bit of, of the UK. It's a very horrific example of our industrial culture at its worst. A kind of rapacious, destructive... It's about getting people excited, getting people involved, and creating an empathy, so they start to care about plants. You can't force conservation down people's throats. Well, we want to be of interest to the three million people who are interested in this country and the environment. What really turns me on is communicating with the 54 million who aren't. And to communicate with them, you've got to go to where people are. You've got to work out what they're interested in and how you can associate what you do with what they do so they see connections which previously they hadn't seen. And I think people are going to go away with that message. I think it's a very powerful way of conveying the, the fundamental dependence that we have on plants. Tim has driven this program. It's going to be a green and pleasant land within a very few weeks. In just 10 days, they install more than 1,500 plants, but there's another 5,000 to come. As ever, the Cornish weather conspires to make a tough job even tougher. This is to be the wettest winter since 1766, with rain falling virtually every day for 100 consecutive days up until Christmas. Outside in the pit, there's no escape. I'm constantly surprised by how unpromising something looks until suddenly it's right. You know what I mean? The tension is not just in the pit, it's everywhere. The link will basically be the bridge between the bio. No, it won't. The so restaurant will be open on March 17th. Oh, that's not going to... Uh, I don't want to hear it. No, I know you tell me, but I'm afraid you're going to have to hear it. That's, that's the message. You tell me that one of the biggest construction companies in the world cannot get this done by March the 17th. No, I'm not saying. It will be done by March the 17th. It's just... It's packed first. the surface of the power that humans have got. I find that perhaps the biggest reason for optimism in my life is the fact that when everybody has talked to me about doom and gloom in the world, I say you haven't seen nothing yet. And if you liberate the power in people, you'd be amazed at what you can do. I think one of the greatest sayings I've heard was, was, was said to me by an anonymous Irish poet uh, who said, almost nothing is impossible if men did not wish to take the credit for it.
Yeah, I wouldn't have taken
Thank you very Six. much. <laughs> I can't see a red light. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start the evening as we mean to carry on. Here's your mind, Robert. <laughs> right, I'm going to dedicate this song, so keep it on, to uh, Edward Waddup. Because he really dresses well. <laughs> they seek him here. They seek him there. His work on love, but never square. It will make or break him, so he's got to buy the best. Because he's a dedicated follower of fashion. Edward Water. Oh, yes, he is. Beautifully wrong that song, yes. <laughs> that wasn't very good, was it? No, switch it up. <laughs> They're gonna wait for an empty carriage. They're gonna wait for an empty carriage. And mummy's not with us, darling. Mommy's How much weight does these hold? <laughs> 640 kilo, 410 pounds. Then. <laughs> oh, oh! You're taking the view from behind me. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm taking the view of a frightened face. I'm not frightened. <laughs> okay, then we'll say that later on. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing how people go quiet, isn't it? The man who's paid all the money so far is yeah. Julian. We're all going to scarp yeah. afterwards when we get off. We're going to go running, aren't we? We are, yeah, we're going to go. Just as well he doesn't know where we live. <laughs> and then we've got Martin. Look at that face, ladies and gentlemen. Make a note of it. Britain's notorious serial killer. Devours a packet of cornflakes every morning. And young Josh. <laughs> you have to stand up. No. I don't know. Yeah, Let's so. just sit down, darling. Okay. You don't see that He's much still. Turn the flash off. Oh, is it snowing? Sure, I saw a bit of snow. You're not making much of it, are you, Josh? Took him to the safari park, he was eating his sandwiches in the car. Yeah. And there was a zebra and a lion out at the window, an elephant. He went, he just looked and carried on eating. Yeah. See you every day. All his sandwiches with wildlife. Like, not impressed. It's when he gets older, isn't it? Yeah. He'll take that. Know when he gets eating his crisps. Right? Well, I suppose it's good, but uh, I think you can go around about six times, I mean. Yeah. No. No, you go around, you go around more than once, because Sue's been on it before, so has. Oh, she? Said, yeah, she did it at night, though. It looks like the buildings are moving. Well, if the weather's like this, it is. Yeah, you see all the lights and, and everything. But if it's a nice sunny sunny evening, it's better to do it in the daylight. But if it's like this, it, 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 it's probably better. It's not bad. Of course it's all right, darling. Yeah, we're coming down now. Yeah. I would go up again. Yeah, we will. Yeah, it's all steaming up. So. Family meal. You know, he said how things were and all the children. And to have, have walked into that, it Thank just... Thank you very much. You know, I couldn't <laughs> believe it. Thanks, Jim. I'm sorry you're uh, left to do the honours. Right. Do you want some biscuits, folks? Oh. And there she is, the most beautiful girl in the world, Rebecca Jones. I 
Yeah. Got a long way to go to catch Joyce up though. Um, the answer is actually reality, it's happening now. But it's not much though. So, have you seen your flowers on the